Hello everybody, this is Dizzy Dragon, and I'm welcoming you to a very new, uh, a very new walkthrough slash let's play. Uh, this is Catherine. Uh, the game just came out in this last year, and um, I'm very, very excited to show this all off to you guys. Uh, this game, uh, review-wise, it actually was reviewed very highly, um, but it was overlooked by a lot of people. Just because of the just the flat out kind of weirdness of it, um, it is made by Atlas and it was a big hit for Atlas this year, at least critically, and it did make a lot of money for them this year uh, because it, it's just so different than everything else out there. And that's why I'm really excited to show it off. Um, so I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm rambling already. Enjoy our story. All right, so we're gonna jump right into Golden Theater, which is the storyline. Start the story. New game. All right, real quick. If you're thinking about picking this game up, just know um, I'm gonna be playing on normal. Uh, normal is very, very difficult. Uh, normally, whenever this game first was released in Japan, it did not have an easy difficulty. It had to patch one in because it was so hard. So many people had to request and that then to patch in an easy difficulty setting. Because normal was just too difficult, but I've played through this game a couple times, uh, like twice, <laughs> so I feel like I'm up to normal at least. Now, grab a snack and enjoy the strange tale of Catherine. Yes, Catherine has a very, very, very strange story. Um, a lot of people uh, like to. Um, uh, a lot of people are first attracted to the game by just like the sexy uh, box art uh, and you know the two sexy cover girls. Which, uh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, they are good looking for in-game characters. But once you, like, you can, I mean, even if you, that's the whole reason you were first even drawn to this video, uh, don't feel bad. That's one of the, uh, one of the first reasons I even found it. I was like, oh, damn, that looks like a really, really nice game. You, know, you click on it just to see what it is. Uh, and then you're, you're just drawn, and then you're just like, sure, they are good looking, like, good looking girls. But, like, then you're just drawn in by the story. And just like how there's no other story that's just like this out there. Like no other game has touched on the topics that this the game has. Sky fills with glamour, a lovely I'll try to shut up for the, all the cutscenes. Awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse. Your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say, if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain <laughs> curse has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an earnest and kind man. But one day, we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm, what a playboy, huh? Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his <laughs> life? His outcome, hmm, depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. Yeah, now these, enjoy the show. These first few cutscenes can explain the game a little better than I can. So I'll, I'll try to remain quiet for uh, the first few ones just so you guys can get a handle and then I'll uh, speak up every now and then. Hey, where'd you go? Snap okay. out of it! Were you even listening? Uh, sure. <laughs> you know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> Yo, this is the this is the song right here is actually entitled the Yo song. If you look it up on YouTube. Um, all right, so this is just a cool intro. Uh, if you look, these aren't actually credits for any of the designers. These are the in-game characters that, uh, these are all the names of the in-game characters. 
So that's kind of cool. It's almost like it really is like a TV show that they're getting you ready for. Um, just a couple quick things about this uh, Let's Play. Um, the story parts, uh, this game's kind of uh, divided up into two real parts. It's the story, uh, which is really grasping, and then there's the actual gameplay, which is really difficult, like I said beforehand. Um, I've seen videos where people compare its difficulty to kind of Super Meat Boy levels, especially if you're at hard or uh, the Babel stages, which is unlocked uh, through completing uh, the main game. Um, just this game can be really hard. Uh, you're, we're going to get in, once I get into the gameplay, you'll see more of it and what it can be. Um, but just know, if this is your first time, do not just try to jump in and be a Billy Badass on hard. <laughs> Stage one. Help me! Is anyone Hurry up and climb! Who are you? Where is this place? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, I'll die! <laughs> you fucking serious? Very serious. You'll be dying a lot. <laughs> the bottom of the stage is falling. Use the directional pad to move and climb. Yeah, you can see on the left is kind of where we are, and the stage will fall out from underneath us, so you gotta be quick. Find your way up. Ah, no. Move the blocks to make a path. You can. How am I supposed to move these things? Press the. This is very um, tutorial. Uh, basically, this whole level is just a tutorial. Them explaining things. I'm going to also be explaining things. Um, as you can tell, I'm playing this on the Xbox. Uh, I recommend actually playing this on the PS3 for two reasons. One's actually uh, a good reason. One is just kind of kind of a dumb reason, I guess. The, f Finding and picking up a the mystic pillows are extra lives. So you're you're going to need as many as you possibly can, by the way. But uh, my two reasons for playing this on the PS3. Um, it's best, or at least I prefer, using kind of like the D-pad to control this. Oh, no. I prefer using uh, the D-pad, and the Xbox's D-pad is not great. Uh, PS3 D-pad is much better. Moving blocks around carelessly can make them first. Try pulling a block to make some footing. Yes, you want to be careful when you uh, pull blocks. And also, the other reason is that, um, in a really cool kind of twist, almost like Pokemon. Uh, there are different box covers to the PS3 and uh, Xbox versions. There's no actual differences, but I prefer the PS3 box. I don't even know I have the Xbox one. What is it? These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. Uh, this right here is important. What's that supposed to mean? They connect at even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block. The edges glow bluish Basically, physics connected. don't exist in uh, this game. <laughs> so, as you can see, there's nothing underneath that block right here that I'm standing on now, but it's still being held up. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to see me uh, having a lot of failures. Um, yes, yes. It gets a little repetitive with all the tutorial. Just get used to it. Quickly make him stare. Yes, yeah, make staircases. That's it's kind of obvious. Uh, right, I got it. I'll I'll even uh, some failures because I know a lot of people like to see me get flustered. Uh, but even if I do get to the point where it's just like an hour's worth of failures, I'll at least uh, put on screen what, what attempt I'm on <laughs> and uh, how much time it's taken me to complete a certain level. We both make it out of here alive. We'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec. So you guys can see uh, how difficult these levels can actually be. Right, I got it. But it's very, very rewarding. Right, I you might think, why would you want to go through all this? Right, Whenever it. you complete a level, 
you get a great I feeling of satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Except for maybe like Super Meat Boy, something like that. And Dark Souls. And other really hard games. Oh, shit. <laughs> and that's level one. We survived. It's, it's pretty awesome. Of course, I can't feel too high and mighty about myself quite yet because this is only stage one. And it doesn't get any more easier than that. Oh, the silver? Really? So I wasted too much time explaining stuff. Alright, uh, you don't expect me to get. There's three uh, medals you can get gold, silver, and bronze. Don't expect a lot of gold. <laughs> I love these cutscenes. All these cutscenes are beautifully animated. I think more games should go with it, more of the anime style. Oh, what a terrible dream. In case you can't tell what happened, he'll explain it later. Uh, hello? But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. It shirt's hanging up, uh, but he went for the one on the ground. Uh, it's slightly creepy now. You can actually buy the boxers he wears online. I think certain pre-orders actually came with them. And this is your current so girlfriend, you Catherine McKay. So are you extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, <laughs> not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> mm. Uh. Here, two sugars. Very motherly. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like where you're in danger? No. No, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No. I usually do the killing in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like you. Oh, crazy. What's that supposed to mean? Oh. She hey. turned on you. How many years have we been together? Huh? Oh, man. How long has it been? It's been so long I can't remember. Hmm. How many years? I'm asking you. It's a good strategy. It's Turn it around on her. My mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. Oh, that's very different than the... <laughs> than the little tea party we were having. It's a dead body right in your face. In other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, once again, I just love the style hey, of this game. The on. Are Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it. Feather's though. totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. You kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. <laughs> Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. 
Uh, you think so too? <laughs> what else could it be? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. The job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? That doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you Man. never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Ooh, from one hard subject to another. That Paul? He's dead? Yeah, I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in this room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah, the mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit, no way! Maybe Will will wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Man, I hate the news. They always try to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. Toby's my favorite character. <laughs> Well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream. I don't remember what it was about. Oh, I never think man. he actually cleaned his bed. How old are you? 32. <laughs> I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? <laughs> you no, know, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this place? <laughs> she probably thinks he's working Sorry, overtime. Sorry, gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. All right, so uh, right here, uh, these little kind of in-between scenes with the clock. These are just the clever ways they just um, they kind of hidden their load screens. But on the Xbox, another reason why the PS3 version might be slightly superior, the Xbox has quite long load screens. So I might edit, start to edit them out. You got mail. Uh, so if it looks kind of like hastily skipped over, it's because I just edited out the load screen. So you guys aren't missing much. Actually, anything. <laughs> you could even reply to some messages. And yes, your phone plays a big part in this game. The first big thing, the diary. This is how you can save. I'm gonna save over this one. All right. Oh no no no! I want. I'm gonna keep that phone out. <laughs> you can also drink. How many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? I figured this would happen eventually, but <laughs> just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. Marriage is kind of a little bit of a touchy yeah, subject for yeah. my probably 12-year-old average audience. Kind of a big thing. Also, we have awards for just previous nights. These are all from my previous playthrough. You can see a lot of bronze there. <laughs> and that's on easy. Alright, these are just kind of like tutorial messages. This one is actually from, no, that one's just from the night before. This is the one's from Catherine, your girlfriend. You can actually reply to this. Like I said before, I'm having dinner with some friends. I'm surprised, it's surprising that most of them are already married and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing me pictures of their families and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone too. All right. You have the option to reply to this. Um, normally, almost any way you reply to it is going to give a positive. Uh, 
I'm not playing this game how I would react in real life. I'm playing this game going to be a certain way. The reason I'm doing this is because I want, I've already played the game the way I would normally and uh, I'm going to play it the exact opposite way. And um, well, not the exact opposite, but I'm, I'm going to be going for a different ending. Because there are multiple endings to this game. There's actually nine endings to this game, believe it or not. There's a ton. Alright, but since we already saved, we're getting to the end of this scene, so I'm going to be cutting the first episode right here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Please see the next one. <laughs> Peace.